you know what I think would actually be kind of fun? Uh, we're going to jump ahead here. Thank you, Archer. Dude, he's always on it. Like, he's just on his own level with this stuff. There is new music for the dungeons, and I feel like it'd be kind of fun to just listen to it throughout the video. So, I'm just going to hit play on that, and I'll link this down below if you guys want to check out his video. Um, I'm just going to have that playing throughout the video. That might get annoying, but I think it could be kind of fun. I don't know. I'm just trying something new. I'm in BR because, ah, it turns out they are showing uh, the Save the World starter packs in the Battle Royale item shop, which is really, really cool. For me and you guys and everybody who plays Save the World, this is kind of a great way to just show Battle Royale players, hey, we exist, and it could be great, you know, a great opportunity for new people to find Save the World. And that's pretty much it. This is distracting and kind of cool at the same time. I'm not sure if I like it. I also want to go to Save the World real quick. Uh, not that it's super important, but according to Archer, the uh, main menu is now locked to 120 frames per second. For those non-nerds, uh, that means that people like me, with a very powerful computer for making videos for you guys, I am no longer heating up my room just by sitting on the menu. That's nice. Uh, I, pr I appreciate that. I have a high refresh rate monitor, so I, I can enjoy this FPS. You guys can't see it in the video, but um, that's nice. For those of you who don't know, uh, these menus are usually very, very easy to render, and it, uh, it gets pretty hot pretty quick. I'm actually just going to... Let's keep the game open. We might need it. All right. All right. Let's get into the Save the World home base status report. Um, first and foremost is a correction. They quietly updated the last home base report to say that the end date of this venture season will not be November 16th. It'll be November 20th, which is kind of the same thing. It's really cool how many people noted that right away. I've, I've seen people in my comment section comment on other people answering their questions saying November 20th. I don't know if this was like something I mentioned in the daily or if everybody picked on picked up on this nice and easy. Either way, I appreciate you guys helping me out. If anybody ever asks when the season is ending and you see a comment I haven't gotten to yet, November 20th. Help me out. Uh, super easy to say that. And uh, yeah, it just gives a little bit more time. I'm also going to skip uh, all of this because it's very cringe. Man, just is having fun with us. It's the new music that they're announcing here. I kind of like it. I play with music off, but good ambiance is always, always nice. And uh, they're really happy that people have been enjoying the lab. Archer says that there have been, woo. Archer says that there have been some uh, good updates to it. And uh, nothing but net. I can hear the swoosh. Spectral Blade is here. Um, we kind of knew this, but I've got uh, an update to the best perks. That is getting intense. Okay, I thought this would be a fun idea. I want to update the perks for this weapon. Um, it's not like my old video is bad. I'll, I'll even link it down below if you guys want to get ahead of this. Uh, but I feel like I've got new things to say, and I think it'll be a good thing to do. And you guys have been wanting the Spectre Blade versus the Ravager, and uh, the Spectre Blade is basically the best, well, the highest DPS non-mythic sword in the game. Or is it? Woo! Yeah, I know. The Stab's Worth is, uh, that'll be a fun topic. We're gonna have some fun with Melee soon. It'll be, it'll be a good time. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Candy Corn LMG, which is just my favorite SMG coming back to the game. <laughs> I These little typos. I've already skipped over uh, two or three typos above this. I don't want to pick on Magis too much. I don't I don't think these get read more than once uh, every time. <clears throat> Double space. No, anyway, so Candy Corn LMG is coming to the game. I hate this weapon. Uh, well, you know, I would love this weapon if it had multiple elements. Even if it was fire, being locked to physical really, really kneecaps this weapon. And... That's all I've got. Um, so long as it's locked to physical, it is not an endgame option. And some people like to argue with me. Even triple crit damage totally rocking out does not save this weapon. And that is saying something. So, yeah. Spectral Blade, on the other hand. Whoo! Woo, that thing is, mm, that's, mm, we're going to have some fun topics soon. Cram Sessions here. For those who are not endgame players uh, who have inventories that look like this, you guys can have inventories that look like this if you guys do the Cram Session. You'll get more XP, more reperk, all of the perk up. Very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. I'm I'm very happy that they do stuff like this because it's, uh, it's just a good way to grind. Hell, I mean, I even poke my head out for Pokemon Go events that double Stardust and stuff, so... These kinds of things are uh, really nice, and uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. Just go through the quest line, get a bunch of XP, evolution materials, perk up, and gold. All of these are, are very nice things. And Arlene Iza is coming around. Uh, apparently, we're breaking Ray's rules by reanimating. If you read this, it's kind of, kind of fucked. Like, they're reanimating, but it's a romance thing. Bro, I don't even know. I don't listen to quest line stuff, and that's... Uh, uh... <laughs> 
It's just me. Arlene is coming around. She is pretty good for healing. So she is one of the best replacements to coconuts. And by that, I mean she is one of the highest healing heroes in the game. Like, that's not survivalist, for example. The tricky thing is she buffs life leech. And what that means is it's basically dependent on how much damage you're doing. So if you run those super triple attack speed Paleo Luna builds, Arlene is not going to do much. However, if you're running one of those totally rocking out and or crit explosion builds where you're critting often and you're doing a lot of damage per swing and your sword is doing a lot of damage um that's where arleniza comes in really in play and it's a very very nice support perk for uh melee builds and that's just kind of a, a good thing all around so yeah run a crippled on your specter blade if you want to put arleniza in support otherwise I gotta stick to coconuts. They're just too good. And she's also solid. I mean, she's just a really good support perk because you're swinging at enemies anyway, so healing passively is not bad. And oh, 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 what was that? What was that? Oh, yeah. Clip is coming back. Interestingly enough, to the event store, which is cool because if I'm not completely mistaken, it was a quest line that first introduced Clip. She is phenomenal. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't know how far back I want to scroll on my channel. This is probably not going to be worth it, but it summoned two videos when she came to the game where I redid my farming loadout. Here, can we just get to like a year ago? It should be pretty easy. Yeah. New best farmer, clip to came to the game. I remade my farming loadouts video, which is one of my old key videos on my channel, and uh, she's really good. I will be linking this video down below. She, as you can see, gives you a 33% chance to drop additional ingredients. That is not builds, that is not wood, metal, or brick, but you will get more i think she doesn't work at batteries somebody left a comment about that but i don't believe that you should get more batteries nuts and bolts uh planks fiber reserves uh not maybe not fiber reserves. you don't get those from you get those from no i'm thinking of adhesive resin i think it, whatever all the extra crap rough ore all the extra crap and it's really 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 nice and there is a strong argument for running her in the lead because she gives you a 100 percent chance to get essentially double loot again not wood metal brick but all the extra stuff and again this farming loadouts video weighs the pros and cons whether you want southie in the lead or her in the lead clip in the lead there are reasons for both so that's why the video exists and why it has 77,000 views because it's a it's a big topic and that's what the video is for uh so yeah and then lars is here for hopefully not too long because archer was data mining as he does shocker i know and we have a uh, new starter pack in the files, so that'll be the Kevin bot. He will be a reskin of Undercover Buzz, which is kind of why I left my game open, because I figured we would be referencing Mac. Undercover Buzz is one of the best, most painfully balanced heroes in the entire game, because decreasing gadget cooldowns is great, because most gadgets have like a minute or two or three minute cooldown. I'm pretty sure... Either the banner and or the slow field has like a three minute cooldown. Uh, 180 seconds on the slow field. The banner might have been the three one. Yeah, no, 300 seconds. I think that's five minutes. Oh my God, it's too late. All right, we're going to do 300 divided by 60. Uh-huh, yeah, five minutes. So that is a ridiculous amount of time. 180 seconds is three minutes, I'm now realizing. So yeah, just a, a stupid amount of time to wait for these items to come back. Even the drone, you get two of them, so it's not as harsh, but two and a half minutes is a long time to wait. And so reducing that at with any amount is nice to have, but 20% is still just not that much. 20% of three minutes, I think came out to be like 30 seconds or so. Uh, again, I'm just gonna help us out here. 180 seconds times... 0.8 would be 20% off the top, and you're waiting now 144 seconds, so you're saving out on 36 seconds. Oh, no, 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 the drone was 150 seconds. I am so sorry for being a nerd, but you know what? Some of you said you like this, so we're just going to keep rolling with it. Yeah, you're saving 30 seconds, exactly. Yep. I'm just double-checking my old math, because when she first came out, we worked all this out, and now I'm just regurgitating regurgitating information in my brain. But yeah, anyway, 30 seconds off the drone is just not really worth a support perk because you should never really be relying on a drone or any of your gadgets they're just extra damage and so it's really good for like newbie players and that is kind of exactly why she would be paired with a starter pack so i'm not complaining about her perk or anything it's just so painfully balanced you know what i mean like it's a legitimately good thing to reduce the cooldown of drones but 30 seconds i guess you know <clears throat> epic knows that <clears throat> you can do a lot in 30 seconds and then we just have some um 
freaky renders of our new friend here as i can show you here and then just super nerdy behind the scenes stuff archer and i are praising the fact that they put a uh rendered out version of sledgehammer in the files why i don't know but that will make my thumbnails look a little spicier and that's just about it so thank you guys for watching uh pretty cool home base report some very very good stuff coming back clip is a huge like core element to farming loadouts arlene Iza is really solid you're not going to see me using her often because i'm a coconut fanboy but like i said i sung her praises in this video for a good reason cram sessions good to see because you know cramming things is tight spectral blade is available and of course we got new music and i'm going to skip over the candy corn and smg because i don't care about it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later uh new videos coming soon twitch link down below check me out on there lots of support over on the twitch page i really appreciate you guys i've been streaming a lot more because of it i've actually been uh huffing cough drops and dissolving pills under my tongue to get rid of sniffles because i've been uh you might have noticed by the uh, sexy voice i've been sick for the past several days and i've been uh depressing symptoms just to keep to keep the streams going it's been a good time so yeah hope to see you guys there uh advanced cg on the far left there is actually 30 percent off for like the next oh, let's see here 19 hours as of recording <laughs> so try to get that uh 30 percent off code there yeah this is a deal only for the end of the video i know i know should have mentioned it sooner i'll uh yeah see you guys later and uh, enjoy the new updates coming sooner